Today we're gonna be talking about a lot of juicy stuff. We got the first ever gameplay image of Moon Remaster from Zombies Chronicles. Hot damn, it's here. We're gonna be talking about that and not only that, we're gonna be discussing about a lot of other stuff like the price. We do not have the official price, but we have a good general idea of how much it's going to cost. We're gonna be talking about that. We're gonna be talking about the live stream details. Yes, there will be a live stream coming very, very soon from Treyarch. And we're also gonna be talking about the calling cards that were we're going to get as well with this Zombies Chronicles and I guess it's time to get started. Hey everybody what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and let's just get right into it. If you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing. We do daily videos and live streams so definitely do consider subscribing for that and let's kick this off with the Jason Blundell note. Now this is going to be a note from Jason Blundell about Zombies Chronicles and it goes like this. Yesterday I appeared on JC's back for YouTube channel to share news that we've been itching to announce for quite some time. Finally, Margarita, it's here. <laughs> On May 16, we will deliver Zombies Chronicles, which consists of eight fully remastered maps from World at War, Black Ops, and Black Ops 2. The Zombies universe has grown quite a bit since we first introduced the mode as an easter egg in the 2008 release of Call of Duty World at War. That's been nearly 10 years of annihilating the undead in that time with the release of of new consoles, there are a number of players that never got the opportunity to enjoy the maps that made Zombies what it is today. So, in a first for the Call of Duty franchise, we're bringing them all together so our community of fans can play through the first eight chapters of the saga that led up to Black Ops 3. Nagdar Antoran, Virak, Shinonuma, Kino Der Toran, hey, my, my boy, Ascension, Shangri La, Moon, and Origins. Let me know what's your favorite map because I am dying to play Kino Der Toran. And uh, these are all the maps that we're going to see and will bring everyone up to speed. Given that the lore of the Zombies universe might be a bit overwhelming for some to digest in one sitting, today we release a detailed timeline that explains the entire Zombies universe in an easy to read visual which can be found here and I'm definitely going to link that in the description below. And yet, believe it or not, there's more to share. Join us this coming Monday, May 8th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time which is 2 p.m. Eastern Time and that should be about 7 p.m. GMT. Just Google your time zone and if you're new to my channel definitely do consider subscribing because I will come in hard with that live stream and everything on the channel. I will cover everything about it on the channel so make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell so you don't miss anything about DLC 5 or Zombies Chronicles and they also says that's when we'll share more details about what is to come. Jason Blundell also said with Zombies Chronicles on the horizon we wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to thank the Zombies community for everything that they've done over the years, your feedback your videos, your commentary, your theories, we've enjoyed every minute of it, thank you. If somehow my videos were viewed by one of the Treyarch employee or more than one of the Treyarch employee, I just wanna say, hey, hot damn. Jason Blendell also says over the next two weeks, I'm sure you'll see plenty of gameplay videos from that same amazing creative community. Uh oh, maybe they have not watched my videos cause they're talking about the zomb big zombie YouTubers. I may even jump in for a game or two myself, you never know. So what we learned from this is that on May 8th we're gonna see a live stream and uh, what we know so far it's not enough, they have more to share with us and over the next two weeks we're definitely going to see some early gameplay videos from everyone that went to Treyarch, we're definitely going to see some early gameplays from them and uh, Jason Blundell may be in it as well. Now before we jump on to the pricing part I want to quickly discuss about the calling cards that we're going to get. Now if you are not aware we're going to get four calling cards, presumably for over all four characters, Nikolai Dempsey, Takio, and Rick Toffin. And yesterday, over on Twitter, Treyarch actually updated their header with my boy Nikolai. And today, they got my, my neighbor, <laughs> Rick Toffin. And of course, we have uh, two days left before they actually live stream. They're gonna live stream on Monday. So tomorrow, it's a possibility. And after tomorrow, it's another possibility that we're going to see Takio and Dempsey. And that will be our four calling cards that we're going to see in game. 
game in Black Ops 3 and that's kind of like a theory that is going around and I just don't want to neglect that and I want to throw this in this video. Now really really quickly I want to discuss about the pricing because I've been seeing a lot of people like come in my comment section and ask me and I see a lot of people are asking other people. It's going over on Twitter, it's going over in every single YouTube videos of DLC 5. It's all over the place and I definitely do understand that you want to know how much it's going to cost so you can actually put money aside and buy it as soon as it drops. I definitely do understand that but there is no price announced as we speak and I'm sure on Monday we're definitely going to know more about it and also have been seeing a lot of people ask whether or not the season pass will cover DLC 5 or Zombies Chronicles. Well the answer is no because season pass only covered four DLCs and this is going to be a new DLC a fifth DLC aka Zombies Chronicles and it will have eight remaster maps and if we take a look to a normal DLC that costs 15 bucks it contains four multiplayer maps and one zombies map and it costs 15 US dollars and if you live in Canada it may be 20 bucks and if you live somewhere else well the price may vary right and if you take a look at the separate purchase of the giant zombies map which is a remaster map it costs 599 USD and if you're in Canada like me it will be 649 so if we actually pull up a calculator and do six multiply by eight it will pull something like 48 so the price is going to be 48 but of course it's going to be a giant DLC so they will reduce the price and my guesses are that the price will be between 20 to 40 bucks realistically around 30 bucks that's going to be my personal guess and if you are somewhere outside the US well the price will vary also track put an Instagram story earlier today over on Instagram of course and what do we see we see a giant poster of moon remaster now this is definitely moon remaster we can see the quality although this is uh, coming from Instagram on top of that a quick shout out to my boy JC's backfires Nen, aka SP FFA I know you're watching my boy I know you're watching a shout out to him he actually sent me over on Twitter I will leave his Twitter in the description below so we can see this is a moon remaster I will put the original black ops moon and the remaster moon image side by side so you can actually take a look and the original biodome feels more like a glass and some metal beneath that but the remaster one is full on metal the space and the stars looks much much better of course this is going to be a remaster one and this is just a glimpse and we're going to find out more on this coming Monday and of course over the the course of next two coming weeks and I am pretty stoked let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below are you guys hyped for DLC 5 zombies chronicles cuz I am really really excited and I cannot wait to play Kino their totem which is just my favorite map of all time but anyways guys I'm gonna be ending this video right here if you guys have enjoyed this video smash a like and subscribe if you are new and I'll catch you guys very freaking soon